Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. Today I'm going to show you how to generate a DIMM and contour map using Google Earth. From where we are going to export it as a uh, raster and contour using the software ArcGIS. So first of all, we need to create a path that is a line. You can select the option from Google Earth Add Polygon, Add Path so in which we are going to add path right now so we are going to name it as point dim and contour after that just keep it aside and just uh, press the button r so that you will be getting your perfect uh, lat long from the selected area so after that just draw a line covering the entire study area or the region which you required to get the elevation data like this it may be in any pattern I am just showing you as an example The more close you draw, the more accurate data will you be getting for your analysis through which we will be uh, generating our DEM map and the contour maps. So after doing it, just drag the table and just save it. Just give OK. After that, just click it and go to the option save place as just select the option so you can just name it if you have to change the name you can just change it here and we need to select the option KML file format and just save it so the next step is that we are going to convert it into a JPX file format for that just open your Chrome browser or any form of browser and just type GPS visualizer So you can see here the first option available GPS visualizer just click it from there you can see a lot of options available that is a uh, conversion profiles KML overlays and etc so we need to select the option look up elevations right above so in this we are going to input our KML file which we have saved from the Google Earth and just select it and just open it here so you'll be asked in two file formats one is a GPX file and other one is plain text so I'm going to select the GPS file and select the option convert and add elevation so it will be converted so as you can see here it has been converted into a GPX file format which has been opened at the bottom so we need to download the data just click it the data will be automatically downloaded so the second step is being finished the third step what we are going to do is that we are going to open our ArcGIS after that we will be converting so after opening the ArcGIS to ArcGIS software you need to just select the option Arc Toolbox so a table column will be opened like this from there go to the option conversion and select from GPS so it will be given an option called as GPX to features just select it and uh, try to input try to input the downloaded GPX file format in it for that just select this option so as you can see here this is my downloaded GPS GPX file format I am going to open it right here so the next thing is that we are going to just specify our output file here and uh, just give ok the process will be done within a few seconds so as you can see here I have got my uh, points that is my GPX has been converted into points that is in a feature file format so it is uh, looking as similar to this Google Earth 
but uh, in this data we will be having an important value which is uh, which is uh, related to elevations so when you drag it on the right hand side you will be uh, seeing a lot of elevations available as well as you can see the shapes name this has been uh, defaultly generated but the thing is that you have been uh, generating elevation data for those points so if you select any one of this it will be having its elevation data on it so with this we are going to create our dem data as well as our contour now we are going to see how to convert it into a raster file which is in uh, which is a dem data for that go to the option analysis tool sorry 3d analysis tool from there go to the option raster interpolation and just select idw inverse distance weighted so in which we are going to uh, insert the points that is the gpx to feature converted points these these points are being in inputted and we are going to select the z value as elevation so it has not been opened so just uh, remove it we are going to try it and again once again so i am going to try it once again So now I'm going to input my points elevations. So now I'm going to select my Z value as elevation and uh, just give OK. Before that, please try, please uh, save your output raster to uh, to the desired region. So next thing is that just give OK. So as you can see here, the process has been completed and it has been uh, we have we have been given a we have been given a raster layer has output so go to the table of contents from there go to the option properties so i'm going to choose uh, just only one color and just uh, classify it as a four groups just apply it Or seven groups. You can see here the dem data has been created here. The dem data has been created. If you need to change the color, you can just go with it. So I'm going to select the brown color and just give apply and just give OK. You can see the difference out here. So the next thing is that we are going to create in contour with it. So go to the option Arc Toolbox. From there, go to the option 3D Analysis tool and select Raster Surface. So you'll be given an option called as Contour, where you can just input the dem data. So you can see here, just I have inputted my dem data. After that, we we need to specify our output of folder. You can just uh, go for the contour interval. So I'm going to go with the contour interval of 100 and just give OK. The process will be done. You can see here the contour has been created. So go to the option properties. If you need, you can just uh, change the uh, name otherwise leave it as it is so you can just uh, see the counter has been created with the values go to the option properties and just select contour and just apply it and just give ok you can see here now it has been corrected the elevation has been uh, perfectly showing so i hope that you have learned something from this video keep supporting terra special